Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you some improvements to the references area so you can change or tweak your weekly planning workflow a little bit and it also makes it easier to set yourself goals on a weekly basis. So the improvement is that you can now nest your um, tasks and subtasks infinitely uh, and collapse and expand them here in the references area. So that the references area stays as compact as possible and you can basically close the tasks which you uh, which don't need your attention at the moment for example if i am working on no plan um, and a couple of more tips like this remember heading here for example i'm working on no plan on the native version and on the web version so i have two headings here so I know the top level tasks and I can set myself um, rough goals or very um, goals which are not too detailed so that I can add the detailed subtasks to this goal for example as uh, points, indented points like tasks below the bullet point in this case. So prepare for a release is the top level point and below this I have a couple of tasks I know I need to finish in order to uh, reach this goal of preparing a new release or releasing a new version of the web version in this case and I can close it when I'm not working on the web version in this case for example I work on the native version then I have a other list of improvements here but I don't need to see it all the time so I can close it here and let's open up the uh, weekly note so this is how it looks like so it's much more detailed than the references uh, appear because uh, for one, the references, they filter out uh, quotes. So quotes are, I use them to write down my thoughts as a preparation for the weekly planning. So when we start with an, or when I start with an empty weekly note, I first write down a couple of thoughts at the top or below each point, like native, web version, health, remember, and so on. And then I write down a goal which, which lacks a bit of detail because it's for the complete week so it doesn't have to be that detailed otherwise the list will be very long and then below this I go more and more detailed and then what you can do is with these kind of details so one is you can have a very long and detailed weekly note and also write down your reviews in here like re reviewing your week at the end of the week of course um, but the advantage is as I mentioned already is that you can make a references area which is very compact so it's easy to uh, scroll up and review what you want to do. So if you finished with a specific task you can basically scroll up and say okay today we're not working on marketing uh, we just work on the native version so it looks like this is one of the most important tasks so you can drag it into your daily note and I then hit command and you see the mouse cursor changes to a link icon and then you drop it and adds you, uh, this to do or task as a synced line so this means if I change this task it will be also changed in the weekly note also it copied um, the quote below this so this is at the moment not synced so if you change this it won't be changed in the weekly note but if you check off this for example so let's say I finished this task and then we go back to the references and you see it's also checked off and completely disappears from the references so it's not a distraction anymore. So let's um, delete this again because this is not something I'm doing today. What you can do is if the goal which is not that detailed, for example release the update with some marketing but I didn't specify what kind of marketing except uh, some thoughts in a quote but you can here add for example in bullet points what you have done um, for example tweet about the update prepare the what's new pop-up um, talk to Bart about the newsletter so let's say I finished all these points already just for me to remember what have I done in this week which is uh, and I usually do this to uh, write this down manually ex instead of collecting it from day to day 
because these are the points which I need in the change log, for example, or for my review, for my weekly review. But if you go now to the task, uh, to the today's notes, one of the notes in this week, I can see the points here. So it's nice to see them, but I don't need to see them. So I can simply collapse them. And let's just for fun add some more levels here. Another level, another, another, and so on. So probably you won't do this too deep, but you can see here, oh, it's the wrong one, this one. You can see it, you can go as deep as you want uh, with your bullet points and will also remember which ones you have opened, which ones you have closed. So uh, if you switch between days, it stays nice and compact and um, it helps you to stay on track with your goals if you set them here in the weekly note and it doesn't overwhelm you with too many points. I hope this was helpful for you to learn something about planning your weekly goals and then taking those to plan your daily notes. And one more point before I uh, forget it. So I started to write down also bullet points which I want to remember. Uh, things I've read in books and uh, advice from other founders and so on uh, where I keep a bullet list of things I want to remember so I don't forget them uh, to improve my habits for example and one of those is follow your curiosity and my priority which is the metric uh, the churn rate and so on or do the hard work don't procrastinate and so on so I, I usually copy them from weekly note to weekly note and I see them uh, every day at the top uh, and it helps to remember those points because if you read a book you maybe make notes and everything, but then you quickly forget in your daily work about the advice which was given in those books. But if you write them down and see them every day in your daily notes at the top, then it's another thing and you uh, remember them easier. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or requests for other videos I could make. But um, I wanted to share this improvement and the latest update. It seems small, but it helps a lot if you are a weekly planner and weekly planning helps a lot to uh, stay on track with your goals and plan your daily notes as well. So see you next time. Bye.